Well, it was good till it wasn't. Leaking fuel out of one of the lines. The truck went into limp mode and then it just stopped. So I'm not sure what's going on yet. Hi guys. All right, so it's Friday, not that anyone cares. And I just got home from work and we're gonna go, I'm just gonna keep it short and sweet. We're gonna go to Dominic's house and I have that. Uh, uh, I've had this lift pump for like three months now and I've been meaning to put it on. I've just been like dragging my feet. <clears throat> but now that I got the easy link for my truck uh, to run the bigger tunes, I need a lift pump. So this is kind of the motivation to put the lift pump on so then I can run the tunes. Here it be, full on air dog system with a sump. Probably not putting the sump in, don't yell at me, but I got this off marketplace brand new and it had the sump, but I don't really feel like going through the trouble putting the sump in. Anyway, we're just gonna put the, uh, the lift pump on. So I'm gonna throw this in the truck and we're gonna head over to Dominic's. Got the old LML out here. It's crazy because uh, I think it's only like, yeah, it's only like five o'clock right now and it's almost dark. So that's the only sucky part about this time of year. I feel like this truck's only purpose is to make content for this channel because other than the stuff you guys see, I don't even really drive this thing. It's been sitting forever. But let's get a lift pump on it. We have arrived. Here's his LOI. Hard to see in the dark. We're going to see a bad transmission. Yeah. There's no third gear. No third gear in the LOI. Ah, but you drive like a dick. No. <laughs> Yeah, not me. I'll bring up the archive videos of what this thing goes through. This thing's perfect. This thing is so long. Yeah. Look how long it is. <laughs> Eric. What? It's still wet. <laughs> <laughs> it's all oil. It's better than rust. Oh, well, it's never gonna rust. In the grimy stuff. I brought dribbits. Uh, Jesus. Dribbits. I really don't want to pull this drive shaft out, but it's kind of looking like it might have to. Yep, Chuck Master said so, so let's pull the old drive shaft out of her. I don't want to either, believe me. Yeah, out of there. You're pointing the exhaust. No. Talk about the drive shaft, which no, is this. The drive shaft. No, you pointed at the exhaust. No. I'm not taking the exhaust off, no. taking the drive shaft no. off. <laughs> Who, me? Who, me? All right, we're gonna start by dropping the drive shaft because truck master said so and Klom thought he could get it out without removing the drive shaft, but we have to. Fresh seasoned firewood. The Klom the Klom cart. Oh yeah. Got your dick beaters out of the way? Yeah. Let me know when to stop. I'll tell you, Terry. Stop, Terry. Alrighty. I'm gonna leave it in the air, it might help you actually. I'm down on the ground or something here. Huh? I'm Why just... are you yelling? Who, me? Yeah, I'm spinning. Listen. Yeah. Don't lose my needle bearings, needle dick. Not needle bearings. In the new joint. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lose them. <laughs> this ain't the first rodeo, I just need to. Because if I pull down on it, the whole dry shaft moves, I need to back up. I'll real put it all around then, that's all you had to say. Yeah. Hold on, don't drop the dry shaft now. <sighs> What do you got going on here? What do you got going on? Oh my god. What? It's an ugly U joint. You know what? I did come over here to work on my own vehicle. What are you doing, Dick? Oh, let's pop the side shaft down. Yeah? Yeah. You sure? No. Oh, pop my needle bearings out, needle dick. Easy. Huh? Who, me? No, you. Got it. Push. Get the other one. Well, get the f this one. Hey. Hold on. This hood's too big now. Hold on. Back. Get that in there. Get on in there. I'm pulling. You ready? I see the head. Sit there, take this thing. I know. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me get out. You're pushing me against a frame. All right. You know what you're doing up in there? You're disconnecting which line? Um. Huh? 
Which one? Who, me? Which line you disconnected? Uh, feel it, dude. Thing. You don't remember which one it was. I, I have it on the thing right now. You sure? No. Are you sure? I'm just gonna blow it up. Alright, well then the other one is... I wish I had my flashlight on me. What? Because I was gonna show them where the other line is, but I'll just keep it. Listen, I'm not gonna spend all night here, so you gotta get that thing off because you're holding me up now. Alright, and the other line is over here that we gotta disconnect, and then we're gonna mount the lip pump right here. But it's gonna be a little hard to record that, so we're gonna get these uh, Jimmy John's out. Yeah, we're gonna get them off there so we can uh, get the lip pump ready to be placed up in here. Open? Yeah, it's this one, the top one right here. Is that the one? I don't know. I'm moving it. Yeah, it's that one. Well, please hold. All right, so there's the line. We're gonna pull that off, and the fuel is probably gonna come out. So I'm staying back a little bit. You want to make sure you get this on enough right here. What? So you can, I'm not talking, I'm talking to the camera. You wanna make sure you get this on far enough to where the bump or barb is back far enough inside the hose where it's not gonna come out. All right, important note that Dominic overlooked was, he said this red one goes to the suction line. It does. All right, so just so you know guys, this one goes to the top of the tank with a little red dot on it. Make sure that goes to the top of the tank. All right, we got the brackets, or the, the holes drilled for the bracket. We got through here. So we're gonna mount the air dog on this to get to mount it on here first. And then we're gonna put it up in there and get all bolted up. All right, we got the old lifter pumper. Bastard. The old lifter pumper mounted up in there. Bomb's trying to tighten it right now. I don't think he can though. Oh, I am. Don't oh, you worry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we got the line ran on top of the tank. So the next thing is we're gonna run the line, well, one of the lines to the lift pump here, and then the other stuff. All right, so we got the line right there that goes back to the tank, and then right now Klom's routing the one that went to our hard line in the back, and you're gonna connect that to the one closest to the tank right there, and here, click. There we go. So that one you kinda just gotta loop around, because the line you need to connect to is right above you, right up in there. So you just loop, and then go into there. And then this one on the end right here, the return, it goes to the yep. filler neck. Correct, let's do it. So then you're gonna come back to your filler neck here, and all you're gonna do actually is just cut it in half, and then you're gonna put, dick. You're gonna put, where, where'd you put it? There it is. You're gonna put this fitting in there, but it's got arrows on it and the arrows have to go towards the tank. You can see the arrows right there. So you're gonna put that up in there. Your straight fitting is gonna go to here, and then your hose is gonna route to that other 90, and then you're good to go, and then you wire it. All right, so we got the return routed. Got all the way up here. I might have made a mistake earlier on in the video. The return is the one closest to the tank here, and the other one that wraps up is this one on the right. And right now we're just putting the filters on it, Clom's gonna put the drive shaft in and I'm gonna start running the wire. <laughs> alright, alright, hold on. Get that one in there. Turn the key on. Let's see if we hear it go. Oh! Hopefully it does. Fuck. You missed a lot of parts. Hey, shut up. I'm filming. All right, so we got all this. I'm gonna tile this up. But guess what? Key on. Oh, I threw the keys. That's right, because you just yelled at me for throwing the keys. Where are the keys? There's the keys. Dirty bean I am, dirty bean. Ready? Here we go. Oh yeah, all the lift pumps. We think Clom, we got her, didn't we? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. After all that time. Oh, yeah, yeah. After all the time that you wasted oh, trying to polish the drive shaft that you didn't even finish. No, no, no. You told me not to finish the damn thing. You could have. All right, we're going to get this tucked away, and I think we're going to tune the truck tonight, actually. What do you think? Well, it was good till it wasn't. Leaking fuel out of one of the lines, the truck went in a limp mode and then it just stopped. So I'm not sure what's going on yet. So it seems like the truck is actually losing prime because it's a crank no start. 
and it kind of just died here so i'm not really sure what's going on with it yet dominic's going down to get a chain luckily i'm only about a mile up the road uh we can get this thing pulled back to his place but all right well we didn't expect that but uh truck just shut off i think it's uh one of the fuel lines there that's causing it to lose prime and everything so old loi came to the rescue yep. towed me all the way down the hill and here it sits so we won't be tuning this truck tonight we're going to be getting a fuel line tomorrow hopefully and we'll go from there because right now it won't even start so good vlog well dominic just dropped me off at home uh, I'm truckless. Really didn't expect this in this vlog. Um, I'm going to go inside and do some research on getting a new line for the tank. So this won't be the end of the vlog, but it's uh, I'll see you in a little bit. We're going to try to put our own uh, fuel return line on. Oh, my key. I just have my keys. But we're going to put on our own fuel return line from the tank because we call GM. Uh, they can't get one anytime soon AutoZone and Napa and all them don't even have something like that in stock um, And if I were to order it some it said February, so it's just a return from the hard line on the rail or On the frame. I'm sorry the hard line on the frame that goes into the tank that's leaking so uh, There's really not much pressure there. So we're just going to use some of the hose from the air dog system that we have left over and we're going to push it over there clamp it and put it over on the other side clamp it i got my scanner so we could see what kind of codes it through and we'll probably just crack the filter uh bleed if there's any air in it and then it should crank up well since the truck died it was outside and it was raining i have improvised towers on the scissor lift got it hooked to the truck and it actually the scissor lift pulled this truck in here so now we're just readjusting to uh get it to go in but we threw some codes we threw a low uh fuel rail pressure code and also got that so um i think it lost prime we don't have fuel pressure up there at the rail but i cracked the filter on the air dog and i have fuel coming out so we're going to check out what's going on with that i just picked up the truck from tyler's um knock on wood so far so good no uh engine light no reduced power truck still has power so i uh i think i think we're pretty good here so uh next step probably next video is gonna be tuning this thing i'm just glad we got it all fixed and got it figured out but definitely guys look at your instructions if you're installing an air dog uh make sure that you route your lines correctly um my instructions were wrong um and i made sure that i verified that multiple times so i wasn't assuming or accusing anyone but after watching truck master's video it was confirmed that the labeling and the instructions was actually wrong so just keep an eye out for that guys get a little sound clip for you guys before i tune this thing just to uh give you an idea oh yeah and for anyone concerned i know there's snow out but if you look the roads aren't salted and that's the only reason I'm driving home from Tyler's right now and it's only a mile away from my house so if the roads were bad I wouldn't be driving it trust me but surprisingly uh, they're actually very clean uh, especially for how this place usually spreads salt I don't even think they spread salt because I don't see any so no need to panic guys uh, the old LML is gonna be all right all right guys as you can see on this instruction diagram right from the air dog installation instructions your tank and your engine uh, inlet and outlets are actually opposite so if you noticed in the beginning of the video um, i actually had the engine supply plugged into the right part um, your engine supply is going to be the nipple closest to where your fuel tank is so as you see in the diagram where the bracket is the one closest to your fuel tank in the back is labeled tank, but that's wrong. What happened was we had it plugged in correctly because we watched Truck Master's video. And then I went back and looked at these instructions and I said, no, actually that's wrong. We have to flip those two lines. So what we did was we flipped the 
engine supply line and we flipped the tank recirculation line. So what happened was when we first started up, it ran for a little bit and then I took it up the road and it died. What happened was the part that was supposed to be supplying the engine was actually recirculating and just going back into the tank. And then the side that was supposed to be a recirc uh, was plugged into the side going up to the engine. So it wasn't putting fuel up to the injection pump. So what it was doing was it was not supplying that line with fuel. And then the other line that was supposed to be supplying the engine was recirculating back in the tank. So just keep that in mind. Uh, just look at your lift pump before installing it. Um, there should be labels on the lift pump itself. Uh, by the time we realized this mistake, the lift pump was already all the way up in there and the labels are actually on top of the lift pump. So I can't say for certain if they were labeled the right way on the lift pump and backwards on the instruction or if they were backwards for both. But if you're installing one of these lift pumps, just take note of that and don't make the same mistake we did. Um, watch Truckmaster's video, or you can go off of this video for reference. Um, your tank and your engine outlets are gonna be opposite of what these instructions show. So just keep that in mind, guys.